Hey guys, Steve here for Who Took My Dice Miniature War Gaming. So you're getting a twofer for today. All right, two two videos. Um, as I was starting to load up the other one, get it all done, I noticed Games Workshop and put up the stuff about the Psychic Face. So I thought, why not? Let's get that done too. Let's do both. So again, uh, just some tidbits here, but some really cool stuff has come out of this. So uh, Psychic Face. All right, normally there's you roll, you get all your 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 uh, your warp charges and all that stuff, that's gone. Warp charges, gone. Um, um, so basically, it's been simplified. Much like everything else. So it's pretty easy. So each time you have a Psyker now, uh, you can cast as many spells as their data sheet has. Right? And all you have to do now is beat the warp charge there. Right? Um, the warp charge value. Right? So basically, if it's a warp charge five, you have to roll two dice and hopefully beat a five. The spell goes off, or the 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 the, the, uh, the, the, the psychic power goes off. Of course, the more powerful, the uh, the uh, the more you have to roll over, right? Um, and then an example here, right? Now at the same time, uh, enemy psychers will have the chance as long as they're within 24 inches, so they have given it a bubble. Um, they can try uh, they can try blocking it. Now again. The mastery levels, that's what's changed, right? So if you're master over two, you probably get to cast two psychic powers, something like that. Um, so basically, again, it's sort of a power thing. If you have a really powerful psyker, say he's mastery level four, and you have one guy who's got mastery level two, he might be able to block two powers. Now, um, now let's say how would they block it? Maybe you have to roll the same amount or higher. Uh, who knows how psychic hoods are going to help or the runic helms, whatever. Um... Peril Warp, still going to be there. Still going to be there. Um, yeah, it says uh, Peril's Warp is still there, of course. It wouldn't be Warhammer 40,000 without the chance of accidentally having your mind eaten by a demon and your soul sucked in the psychic oblivion of Warp while your body explodes in a multifast explosion of etheric ichor. Yum. I'm not hungry anymore. Um, they're all going to have their own psychic lore um, and you know, the range of different powers that fit that theme. Um... And it said, also, every Psyker knows Smite. Now, this is what's really cool. So, I'll read Smite out to you. Smite has a warp charge value of 5. Of five sorry. So, that means you have, to, you have to roll 5 or higher. If manifested, the closest visible enemy unit within 18 inches of the Psyker suffers D3 mortal wounds. Yes. Mortal wounds. So, that is something that is in Age of Sigmar. Mortal wound is one you can't save. Right? It's not good. Right? You just can't. You're going to take those wounds. It continues, if the result of psychic test was more than 10, the target suffers d6 mortal wounds instead. So you can literally kill by rolling too high. Um, so yeah, mortal wounds is a new mechanic, 40k. Um, basically, they say they can't be saved. It goes through any armor, uh, and even invulnerable saves. So there's another hint, invulnerable saves are still around. So people like uh, the Terminators may still have them. Uh, I would assume Gulliman still has one. Any characters that have any sort of mono save, a belt or rust, the a Crozius, or the, uh, not the Crozius, Rosarius, I should say. Uh, it's it's going to hurt you, right? So you can throw this at somebody and still manage to hurt them, right? It doesn't matter how many uh, you know, things going around. Now, how, how is this going to affect Corn? Who knows? You have play characters uh, that are immune to psychic powers, or maybe they just stop being mortal wounds. Who knows? I'm guessing. Um, well, yeah, so that's it. Quick Psychic Phase 1. I'm going to throw this one up just after the other one. But as always, guys, as I said in the last video, you probably saw earlier today already. Hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe if you haven't. It means the world to me. Check out the other pages. They'll be down below. Throw any questions, comments, concerns, whatever down below. And uh, as always, guys, until the next video, keep rolling those dice. See you later.